everybody my name is farmer Phil and today we are teaching my sister how to plow we are in the 6290 with the front suspension however Cavernal and 4 for a, a standard plow I think it's an F F body plow I think well anyways so I'm going to be teaching my sister how to plow today and um, so yeah that's the plan so we're going to start along this headland here plow that way so I'll show you what to do I'll show you what to do now and then I'll let you do a run or two and then I'll put up the drone and then I'll take off and we'll do something else yeah so that is the plan so pretty much pretty much um yeah so we have to run four wheel drive hit this button down power drops that button can be a bit tricky sometimes not going down okay. so you might have to Rock flick it or, or give it a bit of a tap the switch is near bollocks you will turn on your diff lock so you can see there you want them two lights on when the power is down give you more attraction okay forever to about 17 1800 you what said you one, eight. one eight this dial here see the dial that's your draft control that halters the level of the plow as you're going across the field so you want that about five and you click off and shut the back window or you will get destroyed with those but make sure that there doesn't fall down because if you get caught in the link arm it that falls down and yeah just really so you have to adjust the so you adjust this so when you're plowing away if you hit a hard spot where the ground is harder the plow will start to come out of the ground and then you have to drop it so you twist it that way to drop it down you can see now when we get close to these trees we might start getting caught in roots or if you start getting caught in roots you can see it then you want to twist it the other way and lift it up okay. just to not go so deep so you have a set of five yeah five is that you see there now we're, we're lifted out of the ground so the ground is hard so we have to sink her in on the draft so you push it down yeah you twist it down and then when you get it back in you want to lift it back up a bit and then we're passing this tree here so i'll just lift it up a little bit and we'll just send this one here just to keep the thing nice and straight. So when you're finished at the end of the run, you stop, flick your button back, lift it up to the right height, pull back your throttle to save diesel. Just you turn the plow, this lever, push it, and you just keep it pushed when it turns. And that lever always, you to turn the plow you always push it. Always push it forward, regardless yeah. of which side you're going. Regardless, you look now, I can oh, it's not going through. No. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't turn for you now. But anyways, you, it's always push to turn. Okay. If you ever have to get out, you have a sledge here or a lump hammer here on the ground. So if you ever, if you have a stone or anything get stuck in it, sometimes when you have a lift it, the plow will sag and start to slip to one side. You pull that lever and it'll square back up the plow. And the ram the ram will start to leak and it'll start turning this way and you pull that and it'll square it back up so if you go push that lever it just, yeah, it just turns around so when you're doing your runs then you just kind of line yourself up fairly straight back in you flick that down your diff lock will come on rev it up as you get used to it you'll be able to do it a lot more streamlined you can see there the ground is quite hard so you just have to get her, you have to get her to white ink to it. And then when you're plowing, what you're watching out for, see the way everything is nice and level, everything is just matching. Yeah. You'll either see any the furs, the furs will kick up. It will kick up like so if there's a stone in it or there's anything wrong. And if you see any of the fur is not just matching up right, you want to lift your plow and check to see that everything's okay, that there's nothing broken. If there's a one sh plowing shallow, so you see the way it's all level, you see a furrow might go shallow or something might look funny. If anything looks funny, just lift the plow check and make sure it's okay. Christ, it is really warm today. You're telling me, should have been at the cows this morning. Talking about that shit. So, and that's it. But your run ends literally as you come to the end, just stop, lift it, and get back to truck. If you let back the throttle before you put your foot on the clutch, um, you won't get that jerk stop. And then while you're turning, turn the valve. So 
yours to go back round in back and away again and it takes quite a while to get across the field and this field is a big field and we're not plowing in this field we can't plow it le long length ways because it goes into a point it's like a triangle and no matter what way you do You've it obviously tried it before oh uh, well no matter what way you do it it's all it always ends up a shitload of short ground so this is just the way we do it so start again Pick it down Remember up and away you go and it's dead straightforward i have if you have your bluetooth i have uh FM transponder there so you can listen to your music and set up and all. I do have my Bluetooth. So just connect that to Bluetooth iPhone charger there as well. So there's not much else to it. I'll get the AC working on this before I go for you. So that's it. So I suppose a little bit of information about my sister. <laughs> she is off uni at the minute because of the old virus. So instead of well, I suppose you still have to play college work to our uni Instead work of learning it. about ballistics, I'm learning about plowing. Yeah, so instead of her doing her thesis and that, we were out working plowing and doing calves and picking stones and all, all the jobs you don't want to do. Yeah, all the fun stuff. So, and also, as she just said, she's in ballistics. She's the kind of person that you don't want to get the wrong side of because she, she could kill you and get away with it. Forensic scientist, huh? Watch too much CSI much. growing up. That's all it is. See there now the plow is yeah. So you do let it back up. Yeah, you twist you twist that down. So you go from five towards six, mm -hmm. and it just sinks a bit. And when you get going again, you just let it back to five. yeah let it back up to about five. So what other things you're going to see, especially now when you get to them trees there. Yeah. We plow you you only plow so close. So you'll see when you start getting close to them you'll start to see the roots come up. You start seeing little see bits of roots, roots and that. Right. When you see that, you want to start lifting this up and do a bit of shallow plowing. And maybe two runs, to, when you're about two or three runs from the actual tree itself, just lift the plow out, drive by it, and down again. Right. And you just that's how you kind of plow around the tree. Because if you keep your uh, plow down and try to go by it, you'll get caught in a big branch and you'll do damage. So once you get by the trees, that's it. The pole at the other end, you, you just plow around it. You come to it, you stop. If you go by it, you go by it. Whatever way it works. Yeah. That's really it. It's dead, it look at it. This job is dead straightforward. It's a bit of a pain in the pole of a job because it takes so long. It's no longer ending at that point. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a slow job. A four for a plow. Normally, we'd have two for a, two four for a plow going but in a man down and the other plow is a I don't like the other plow for prick but plow and um, we don't really use it so you don't really want to turn on this either so don't worry about having trying to keep the ground straight once you get plowed that's all the burrows yeah. also just for everyone watching um, I will be doing a plowing video on how to set up the plow and all of that I have to plow some plow is bright we're doing a bit of plowing already I was hoping to video that but I didn't get the plow nor the tractor wash and they ain't looking over clean. You see, I put the drone up and I got my sister going just to kind of get a nice feel for the field and that. But yeah, I just didn't get it all tidied up. So hopefully when I do get a bit, when I get my time and get washed in, I'll do a video with a little bit of plow and I'll show you uh, how we set it up and, and all of that on the track. Um, i let you go back up the field now. So, look up. It's dead, it's dead straightforward. Oh, Say that really now and I'll just go and fuck it up all together. Huh? The first run is, is the tricky one because of those scraw, those scutching at the stair. It'll be quite, quite annoying. Try to go. See what else down there. And then let back the revs. So if you let back the revs and then clutch, you don't get this jerk stop. Oh, so you let back the revs yeah, you're you're, clutch. you're kind of letting back the clutch or letting back the throttle, and As before you have a fully it. yeah, it just you don't get this massive stop. It just leaves it a bit easier on yourself. Otherwise, and you then get you flick over the plow. Yeah, flick over the plow. So you just push your lever, plow turns. Right, I let you get in there, and you can put it in. <laughs> put it in. 
straight away. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell, it's hot. I'll keep it. Right. Handbrake. I've never turned the tractor before, obviously. Obviously. Oh. That, yeah. Still process. Doesn't matter. Once you get it done, it takes a couple of runs, and then you get really into the swing of it. Reverse back, yeah, reverse back, and you want to kind of match your stop point with your start point. Back further, back further, back further. So, you mean the first bow in line, then? Yeah, around there, then. And you want this end of the field, I'll show you when the drone is up, but this end of the field is very grassy, and you want to be careful sometimes if the grass goes the wrong way in the skimmer, it could go up behind the skimmer and it'll just damn you. So, let your foot the brake now. And drop the plow. If you have your fun to break when you go to drop the plow, the diff doesn't engage. Drop the plow, that's this. Nice. Yeah. So now, see, your diff is engaged, your forward drive What's is the engaged. Diff do? The diff is a diff lock, it stops the wheels from sp spinning individually, so you end up with three wheels spinning. Oh, right. Or a front diff lock in this. When you have, technically speaking, without the four wheel drive on, your one wheel drive, only one wheel will turn, one wheel will spin. You put in the diff lock. You put the two, the two are locked in place. When you hit the four wheel drive, you end up with three wheels. If you have a front diff lock on your tractor, you'll end up with the four wheels pulling. It's to give you more traction so you can travel a bit faster. All right, okay. So now, give her throttle. About 17, 1800 revs. And then let her go. So I give her a bit more throttle there. Yeah, about that. And you just keep your wheel slightly turned that it kind of bites the edge of the furrow and it helps just keep everything in line. Now, when I'm after doing that, this is going no way straight when you get out. You like fucked it up for me already. Right. I did no such thing. Yeah, you did. People looking, oh, I look, she found the wheel. Look, she found a fucking crocket. I was just following the hedge. Straighten it. No, I'll straighten it down when I come up. I'll probably finish this because you'd be doing well to finish this field in the day. I'll show you, when the drone gets up, you see the size of this field, then you'll understand the pain of blowing a field like this with one plow to side four for us. We have a fight for a plow that I will at some stage, probably not this year, but maybe next year, after the 3690 or the 6499. We have, it needs a bit of work done, but I would like a bigger plow, a bigger tractor to work. That's really it. So you just keep an eye on it, you will hear you will hear if you hear a stone because you'll hear the creaking of the springs. So what do you do when you hear a stone? No, it all depends. Just keep going. If you hear the creaking, and, if you hear the creaking and it goes up and goes back down and there's nothing in it, you just keep going. Okay. If you hear a stone and it turns up or you're not blowing them level, you lift it up, you get your lump hammer, you go, you knock your stone out of it and you start again. You just drop the plow it away. Yeah, drop it where you start. Just literally, you lift it, you knock out your stone, you drop it, but make sure you square it with your lever, so you pull that I'll lever through. After you, knock after you stone, stone knocked out, so it brings it back level, so you can drop it and go. And you just want to be careful because you can catch the root and you lift it, and it might stay there, and you might leave the fur behind you. That wouldn't be good. No, it would not be good. So you yeah, just fall across it. Oh, fucked up. Ah, it's not great in the world. It's not that hard, hard to fix. Jesus Christ! Where's the jump stop you were talking about? Yeah, that was what was on the <laughs> You want to drop your truck then clutch. Ah well, sorry. And you could probably go a bit further to the end. You see there's kind of a fur there. Where would have been the, the end for last year. Oh you're already you can lift an eye straight and out and found the headlamps. You won't have to worry about the flat headlamps. You go backwards. And while you're going backwards. Turn your plow, you want to give yourself a bit of trotting or it won't turn the plow. The pull it, if it doesn't go the first time, you need to give it a jab. Go again. Yep. That's it. Square yeah. it up. I think I leave you to it, I don't fancy going down the field and up again. Yeah, no. Jesus, poor you. 
yeah, I leave I leave you to this enjoyable job. You can get lots of self isolating done. Thanks. Self isolating myself. Yep. Yeah. Go back away to the Yeah. Oh, for sure, how would you be at? You wouldn't be on the beach on a day like this. About 15 degrees, absolutely sweltering heat. Christ, it's it's unbelievable. Anyways, I'm gonna bring my GoPro. <laughs> Spin this round. Do that. Round, 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 round. So along that ridge, I didn't actually use that thingy at all. Yeah, it, most of the time you don't need it. It's only when you either see the plow start coming out of the ground and you need to get dig it in where you if you hit a bit of higher ground, it'll where lift it the plow. It it, it'll just lift the plow and you have to dig it in. When you get near the trees, if you start seeing roots you can lift it up on that and you can do a bit what we used to call in college scratch chicken scratching. Yeah, you're scratching like a hen. Okay. But that's really it. So um yeah, drop the plow there and I'll turn on the the, the blower for you. My sister plowing, she could probably do it straightening that wheel. She has a bit too much of a turn on it. But she's plowing away anyways. She relies she realized she has it the wrong way when she goes and hops out of it, but she's plowing away there grand. So as you've seen there, the mud guards are rotted off that tractor. We won't keep an eye out. Does anyone know where you can get a new pair? Not so much interest in a second hand pair, but a new pair we'd quite like to get our hands on. But can't really find anyone that has them. So if you know of anyone that has new mud guards. For 60 to 100 series Massey, leave a comment down below where you can get them. And um, yeah, I'll pop the drone, just show you the mammoth of a task she has ahead of her to get this whole field ploughed. And um, that's really it. So yeah, also if you're wondering, this is a tillage field and it got infested with grass. We did not sow this with grass either. So that is it. End of this video will just be a quick look at the drone and I'm going to leave it at that. Look, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed a bit of a uh, conversation with my sister me and her do get on very well and she's incredibly incredibly helpful and useful to us so kind of a bit of a blessing in disguise that she's home now from uni that she can give us a hand at these jobs so anyways i'm gonna leave it at that Any comments anything like that as always hit me down in the comments down below i should have had me bloody t-shirt great great time for a but look however merch all that is in the description that is it from me Please like and subscribe to my channel. Good luck.